So the amount of time I spent on Tomb Raider was roughly four or five months, which I would say is uh, a great length of time. There's always like other bits and pieces going on. So you're never 100% for four months, five months working nonstop on a film because films overlap a little bit. One is ending, the other one is starting. And then when the other one is ending, something else kind of starts. That's the nature of what film scoring is. I've done movies as short as three weeks, uh, 300 Rise of an Empire or Black Mass, four weeks to a year and a half on Fury Road, Mad Max. So it's like anywhere in between. But four or five months is pretty ideal because you can spend a few weeks really um, conceptualizing like what you want to do for the score, write a bunch of suites, get a sound palette going, get unique instruments in, create unique instruments, uh, and write a bunch of music with that idea. And you present the, the music. Four or five months also allows you to do a lot of like experimentation work. Uh, let's say, let's take two, three weeks just to create this really insane sound library. You can do that in a period of four or five months. If you have three weeks to do a score, there's no time to, you know, fuss around. You really need to get all the parameters right and you need to write a lot of music in three, four weeks and it's very, very stressful. So in my opinion, four or five months is pretty ideal uh, and it also gives the director a lot of time to live with the music and just to get comfortable with it, give you the right feedback after listening to it 10, 15, 20 times. Uh, so it, it's pretty ideal to work on a movie with that time frame. Uh, it doesn't always happen like that, obviously, like I just said, but it's a great time frame to do a film. So I hope that answers your question.